So what Ventus is, is it's a uh, authoring environment. And what you do is you take all of your DCC content, your graphics elements, your video, uh, your 3D objects, and you put it together inside Ventus to create a non-linear presentation. We have a lot of things like multi-touch. It's obviously a 3D environment, so we have 3D stereoscopic stuff. Um, pretty much all native inside. Any kinds of video, any kinds of I.O., so if you want to take database information in or Excel or something like that, put it right out all in real time. There's nothing pre-rendered about it. What we're working here with is a uh, 8800 Fire Pro. Uh, it's running one system. It's actually running four screens uh, each. I think the total resolution on this thing is 5,120 by 2,880, uh, 2, I think. Something along that. Huge resolution. We're doing it in real time, coming out. Uh, so that's basically higher than four times HD coming out in real time. The graphics card is all being able to push it through. Um, really fantastic stuff. We're working in DirectX, so any of those cool shader things that you can do, we can actually do in real time in a presentation. It looks awesome. Obviously better than your standard, you know, PowerPoint, straight, linear, sort of one slide after the other, lots of text kind of thing. Um, all this stuff, like I say, is being rendered in real time. One of the advantages of that means that when you're giving a presentation, you're giving a show, you can be skipping backwards, forwards, moving in, having all sorts of cool animations going on. Some of the things we often work with is huge, gigantic presentations. We're talking, you know, three, four, five projectors. In one case, we even had something like 50 screens all attached running at 70K by 1K, something like that. Huge resolutions all in real time. And we're preserving an interactivity because it's in real time. So you can interact with your presentation. You know, maybe have your iPod or um, your iPod Touch or your iPad or your iPhone controlling the presentation in a nonlinear fashion. Or multi-touch if you wanted to. Unfortunately, we don't have multi-touch screens here. But if they were multi-touch, I could go in and just start playing around with it, moving it, doing my presentation like that. And uh, again, we're all GPU based, so no matter what you want to do, if the GPU can do it, the better the hardware, the more you can put on screen. And that's really what Ventus is about.